and this allows me to, to basically make uh, these kinds of uh, walking robots with very simple programming that kids can do themselves. My name is uh, David Johan Christensen. I'm from Center for Playway at the Technical University of Denmark. So what we have is uh, we are trying to make this kind of modular robot which is supposed to enable anybody to become a robot designer. So this means even kids down to maybe the age of, uh, of eight years. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to make a system that's really, really easy to assemble into many different configurations just by attaching modules together. So for example now I can attach a, a simple robot here which is, a, which is more like a four-legged robot. Right, and what we can do then is we can have the children program the robots themselves. So this is a very simple program which basically just replicates the uh, position of, um, of let's say this one. So this, whenever I move this actuator here, the other actuator is moving with it. And then the, the idea is that the kids can program different kinds of things. For example, like I can open another program over here, which is a a program for walking robot, walking robots. So here you have a more complex program that the kids will also be able to program. And this allows me to, to basically make uh, these kinds of uh, walking robots with, um, uh, with, with very simple programming that kids can do themselves. So, um, and then the next transition for the kids is when they get a little older, they, transit, they kind of maybe get a little bit bored with this very simple graphical programming language. And then the, the step is to move, for example, to Python. So the program outputs Python so that the kids can easily take a transition from one thing to the next. And further up the hierarchy of, for example, Java and MATLAB, we also have interface with that, so that even researchers can try their ideas on, on this system. And you can dynamically reconfigure the robot? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the modules are completely independent and they communicate with, with radio communication. So I can, they are not necessarily need to be attached. This also means you could place a module somewhere in a corner and you can place another module in another corner. Uh, and you can, you can make the modules communicate and control it as if it was one system. Okay. And what other modules are you developing? So currently we are developing a, a gripper module so the robots can pick up something. We are developing a head module which contains sensors of different kinds like the accelerometers and, and, uh, and, uh, and maybe some simple vision sensing also. And then we are developing a like wheel module so it's very easy to build vehicles. When will this be available? Well, I mean, uh, currently we are working with commercial partners to try to commercialize this thing, but my um, guess it will be a couple of years still. Okay.